Dear colleagues, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. In this case, I tried pre-chopper, but I could not divide the nucleus into two heminuclei. Let us observe this surgery. This is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome at mid limbus or posterior aspect of the limbus. And now we can see that the cataract is hard. Nuclear sclerosis is grade 4 or grade 5. Uh, now this is a bit of a, uh, phenocaine. The patient is under topical anesthesia and then this is Visco filling up the anterior chamber. Visco means 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. And this is a side board on the left side of the main incision. And then I have to do a capsular axis. The microscope is OMS 90 and the FECO machine is Oatly Catrex 3. I have no financial interest just to give you the perspective of the surgery I'm mentioning the names of the equipments. And now this is capsular axis with the uterator forceps. The size of the rexis should be at least 5.5 millimeter in such cases. And I hope it is. It is 5.25 to 5.5 millimeter. Now, hydrodissection is done. In hard cataracts, I inject small amounts of BSS at multiple points and tap on the nucleus, and the nucleus becomes mobile. And now, the interchamber is again filled up with visco. And now I am trying to preach off this nucleus and see what happens. The preach chopper is going at the same depth as in other soft contracts but I could not divide the nucleus into two heminuclei. There is a lead posterior plate that didn't allow the heminuclei to be separated completely. So what? We have to manage this case somehow. So I prepare to go into the anterior chamber with the FECO handpiece. The exposed part of the tip is about uh, 1.5 millimeter. And now I try to hold on heminucleus and chop. I call this chopper Nito chopper. It's a sustainer that is used in pre chopping. And the design is same as. Dr. Neto's, but the length of Dr. Neto's uh, chopper is much more. It is about 2.25 millimeter, and this is just 1.5 millimeter. And I could divide the nucleus easily with this and emulsifying the pieces. FECO settings the ultrasonic power is set at 80 percent, but how much I deliver depends on how much I press the foot switch. And I always press in such a way that no cavitation bubbles occur. We're towards the end of the surgery. For the last piece, the parameters are reduced. Ultrasonic energy is brought down to 60 percent, and flow rate is 35, and vacuum is 350. In before that for chopping and emulsification of other pieces and vacuum was 450 millimeter of mercury and flow rate was 45. During emulsification of the last piece we have to be gentle, cautious and do it slowly. Alternate between FECO 3 and uh, alternate between position 3 and position 2 and it is done. Nucleus is managed. This is a totally unedited recording. You are not missing anything. This is in real speed. 
I'm using a Simco to clean the cortex. I make only one side put. The width of the side put is about 1.6 to 1.7 millimeter. There is no side put on the right side. And most of the time, I remove the subincisional cortex through the left side port. And it is done. And see, these wounds are not stressed. There is no fish mouthing. As soon as I remove the instrument, the wounds, the lips of the wounds are closed. And now, implantation of an intraocular lens. This is a hydrophobic acrylic intraocular lens being going through a B cartridge, enlarge the main wound to about 3 millimeter and implant the lens. So, the main wound is about 3 millimeter, the side port is about 1.6 and the side port is placed 90 degree away. and astigmatism induced by the main wound is neutralized to some extent by the side board because it is placed 90 degree away. This is closure of the side board. For the main wound, I need not hydrate because the wound has not been stressed any time during the surgery. All the visco that was in the anterior chamber is removed. Then I form the anterior chamber. Check the Owns if there is any leakage or not. Put some drops of moxie over the ocular surface and conclude the case. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.